Hello everyone, this is me, Sabya here, and I'm back with the bonus love reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. Topic of the reading is going to be the current energies of your person. What is it that they want you to know? What are they currently feeling for you? And one oracle message we will also pull as well to give you additional guidance around it. So yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you to general reading it when it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Leos, let's tap into the current energies of your person where we're going to find what are the two most dominant thoughts that they have on their mind right now. Be that about you or something else that they have on their mind, we're going to find that out. And then we will take their current energies for you, for the connection that they have or feel with you. Let's start with their current energies and let's see what is it that they're thinking heavily about. Putting an end to the past that they had with you and starting something new. Putting an end to the past, unhappy, unhealthy thoughts, patterns, uh, starting something new. You know, it's, it's more of that energy where they wish to start something beautiful together uh with you i would say uh let's take one more card yep they're really planning something beautiful here they really want to start something new and beautiful with you they are you know working towards it in their mind and they are contemplating on what can be done to leave the past behind to start something beautiful together so they definitely have um um Wow, like, you know, it seems like maybe you don't see that coming yet, but yes, that's exactly what they are thinking. Whether you are in touch or whether you are not, uh, this person is definitely heavily thinking about starting something beautiful in their love life. Let's see what is it that they're thinking of you. What is it that they are thinking of you? What is it that they are having on their mind about you? Let's see. Strength, they're trying to get the courage uh, to come forward with a proper plan so they don't say uh, uh you don't say no to them let's take one more card here temperance <sighs> let's take one more card here there are certain things that um that might have happened in this connection between the two of you let me let me take one card here for this of cups but then where, when they think of you they really want to have something beautiful in their love life but they are not sure of you to be very honest seeing these energies it seems like you know your person really wants to get down uh, get settled down uh this person really wants to have a love life which is stable happy healthy and committed now when they think of you they find themselves struggling to uh see it going where they want their love life to go so this is what they are planning for themselves and this is what is happening in your uh, situation with this person but somehow um this person feels like you know they they really want to get settled down but then when they think of you and the connection they feel like you know it, it, it might not work the way they want it might not work the way they desire because there has always been a lot of issues between the two of you so feels like you know this person is really like you know that's the most dominant thought that they have on their mind they really want to get married but are they planning to get married to you or somebody else that's the question here because when they think of you they see blocks here now in this situation um let's take one more card for the two of cups it's uh they, they don't know they don't know they really want to get married they really want to get settled down but when they think of you they don't have the positive vibe now do they think of moving on no with the four of souls and the four of cups they want things to um it's just more like you know they maybe they wish to have that all with you but then when they see you they find themselves to be stuck because things are not heading the right way forward even though they want to get married they want to have you know family life now but when they see you and the connection they feel like maybe it's not uh, going in the right direction so they are kind of stuck they they find themselves to be in a situation where they are unable to move on with something better someone better somebody new plus they find themselves you know in a stuck situation where they find themselves to be um you know craving for the clarity in this connection that they have with you so it's, it's more of that energy let's see what do they secretly want you to know what is it that they really want to tell you they are going through hell right now because uh they really want to get married to you 
but then they don't see this connection going there. You know, this again, the same energy. Tower, Queen of Wands, the Empress. They wish to see you as their Empress, but then you show up yourself to them as the Queen of Wands. So now it's, it's more of that energy. You have to show them that, yes, you can be the best match for them. How do you do that? Send love to them. Try to be more understanding towards them. Try to be more uh, receptive to their uh, perspectives. And uh, try not to pick up argument, fight, whatever it is that you want. You can always manifest that, you know, by visualizing, um, affirming, using tools and techniques rather than, you know, picking a fight with your person. Why you are not doing that? Why you are not doing that? It's more of that energy. Maybe they always see you as somebody who, who does that. And they really wish to have that new beginning with you, but then they stop because they don't know if you would be the right choice for them or not. But then when they look forward, if, if they can find somebody better, they don't want to do that either. So it's more like, you know, they, they really feel connected to you on a deeper level, but at the same time, they don't see this connection moving forward either. So that's the issue here. Let's see the message cards from your person. Let's see what do they want you to know. They are unable to move on. They are unable to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, with you as well right now. But yes, they really want to get married. Let's see. We have two cards here. I am finally realizing where I made a mistake. This person is trying to figure out what can be done here because they somehow feel like, you know, they, they might have made a mistake there in this connection somehow. I obsessively think about uh, you. Is it love? Like I said, they really want to get married. They really want to get settled down. But then when they think of you and the connection and the way things are between the two of you, they find themselves feeling like uh, they stand nowhere because uh, they don't know if it's love that pulls them back to you or if it is like, you know, whatever it is, like, you know, they are unable to make a decision there. So this person, if you could meditate and love to this person, trust me, this person is going to come forward with a proposal. But yes, you have to send that energy out. Send that energy of a person who is so sure that yes, it's going to happen. Because if you are not there yet, and if you are having your doubts and fears around this connection, around their you know, intention towards you, you will not be able to let this person think of you the right way forward. So if you really want this person to think of you like a, you know, marriage material or somebody who can bring the happiness, stability, abundance in their life as a life partner for life or as a partner for life or as a husband or as a wife, you have to give out that vibe. And how do you do that? You don't pick up unnecessary argument. You don't, you know, demand certain things which you know your husband or your wife cannot give you. So it's more of that energy. Try to become the husband or the wife for them from deep within already. So you could attract them towards you with loving heart. Let's see one more card here. What else do they want you to know? When the time is right, we will be back together. That's what they believe. For some of you, maybe you are not in communication with this person. And when the time is right, you are going to get back together with your person. So let's see. What else do they want you to know? I hate who I truly am from you. They haven't shown you the true self of them. Um, huh. Maybe this is what they truly desire and this is what they truly show off. Like, you know, deep down they really want to get married to you, but they don't express this until unless you give into this connection, they are not going to uh, be their true self to you. Um, because somehow they maybe feel that they have made a mistake by open, uh, openly expressing their love to you. Uh, and somehow they they really feel like um, they shouldn't have done that. That could be the case for some of you. So yeah, let's see more cards. We both know I am not the one for you. So that's what they feel at times. Like, you know, sometimes they feel like, you know, they are not the one for you. But then when they think of getting married, the only thing that they think of is you. Um, so they come back together, uh, back to you. And then when they are back to you, they find that this connection is not heading anywhere. So it's more of an on and off situation between the two of you is what I'm picking up. Let's see more cards here. Let's see what else do they want you to know. I love the way you love me. It just feels special. I really like the way you love this person. Uh, it does make them feel special. But then why this connection is not heading anywhere? That's the question. Do you miss me the way I miss you? They do miss you a lot. But then this connection is not heading anywhere as of now at least. Um... For whatever reason, um, they really wish you could talk, communicate, and express your deepest uh, feelings for each other. Uh, let's take one oracle card. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the read. 
Heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That's a must here. Because until and unless an open communication happens between the two of you, I feel like you know the issues will stay there and you will you know, you, you really need to resolve those issues with your person. Until and unless you do that, you are not gonna, you know, be able to take this connection to the next level. Uh, deep down your person really wish to get married to you. They really want to. Uh, because that's what they want, you know. Be that with you or be that with someone else. That's what they feel, but then they kind of uh, find themselves unable to move on from you as well. So it's more of that energy is what I'm picking up. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If the reading resonated or if it helped you in one way or the other, you can always uh, uh, you know, like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to get a personal read, uh, you can always reach out to me for that. And if you're willing to purchase any set of affirmations or any other of the services that I uh, offer to manifest, you can check the description box for further details on that. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.